Greetings, this is Godril and welcome to the first look for Killer Frequency. A first person horror adventure that comes out today. It is made, developed and published by Team 17 Digital. We send Mickey for this video. So let's uh, check it out. I did try to see if it works. And it does. Right, tutorial time. The controls are fairly simple, so... And nothing happens in the tutorial, so... Yeah, this is the horror part. Not a game for me, really, but uh, you know, I scare very easily. But for first, for a first look, I guess I can uh, tolerate horror games. Hitting with a battle, <laughs> don't have any control. All music on the game is original. It sounds very good. I feel like this is 80s or 70s. Forrest, is this a joke? There's something over there, but I can't see. I almost swore I heard something. Oh, and here I was thinking you'd. If I can get up, maybe. Up. You probably just heard some cats outside. Cats. You know, four legs, whiskers. Looks like 80s to me, but. I know what a cat is, but I mean. Does Gallows Creek have a stray cat problem or something? <laughs> Not since the rats moved in. Anyway, you ready to also, do pre-flight checks? The voice acting seems uh, rather nice. Do these checks every time. And do you have to call? Yes. Reggie pays. We don't know how to play this game. For each show, and he pays us to call it a pre-flight check. But if you're sure you don't want to, let us do the checks, Fine. so we can learn how to play. All righty, this is your captain speaking. Really. Come on, let's have a bit of fun with it for once. Buckle in, folks. We're about to hit some tubular rents. Let's start with record playing. Oh, yeah. <sighs> okay. Grab a record, stick it on the player, and hit play. Easy. Got it. Great. Now turn it off. Damn it, ladies. All right. Up next, phone line buttons. Your captain will be waiting to take your call on line one. Online. All right, Peggy. Ready for you on line one. Who's Peggy? This is Captain Donald Key calling. Call me Don. You get it? Yeah. It's a riot. Great. And button two works. I don't get it. <laughs> so, let's move to the Peggy button. You mean the producer line? Like I said, the Peggy button. Press it when you need my help during the show. Hmm. Is there a Peggy mute button? They haven't invented it yet. Now come on. The Peggy button is the third. I like that it has, um, you know, for you. label. So yeah, you know what to do. <sighs> Press for Peggy. This is your brain, Forrest. Sorry, I made you such an unfun turkey. I'm a turkey now, am I? Okay. Are we almost done? <laughs> Sound blaster next. That's an easy one. Sound blaster, goddamn. It's been 84 years and all that jazz. Uh, that's an easy one. Sound blaster, front of the desk to the right. That one, okay. There we go. Always good for a cheap laugh. All right, we're almost done. Just the volume sliders left. These should let you affect pretty much everything. But let's test it with a record. Play a record and change the volume with the music slider. All right, seems to be all working. We done, Captain? <laughs> We sure are. Coming in for landing. Local time. Ah, should not encourage you. Yeah, let us play. You had a fun side. It's my fun side that gets me in trouble. Now let's get the show started. 
It is music. Our first segment is Guess That Scream. I thought that was a joke. Nope, and don't blame me for this one. It's Reggie all the way, and he demands we do it tonight. All right, what is that? Okay, you're live in three, oh, two, really? one eighty nine point sixteen. A pill unprepared. Gallows Creek. This is your host, Forrest Nash, and you're listening to one eighty nine point six. Is this mixer? Scream. Probably. Before we start taking your calls tonight on Gallows Creek's only late night phone in talk show, I need to let you know about a special competition we have for you this evening. Guess that scream. This is actually one of the station manager's better ideas. Here's how it works. I'm gonna play you a scream, then you call and guess that scream. <laughs> we need you to guess why they're screaming. Did they stub their toe, saw off a finger, or discover the corpse of a loved one? That's good. Now, Forrest, hit them with the tape. We'll play that scream in just a second. Listen close. And then call in to oh. guess that scream. Peggy, what do you mean play the tape? I used to have a tape guy do that for me. You're not in Chicago anymore, Forrest. Here in Gallows Creek, you get to be your own tape guy. Come on, Which tape? I you yesterday. Um. You do have the tape right. You knew we were doing this tonight. Uh. Let's be real. Guess that scream is a. There are three tapes here, but I don't know. <laughs> No, I I don't have the tape. It may be a stupid idea, but that doesn't mean it can't be fun. I'm hoping all this is not dead air. Forest, and you're the one at the mic. Like some music is playing, something's happening. I used to go out all across America, and now I'm just screaming into a mic in a backwater town. Jesus. Come on, Forrest, just do it. Seriously, play some music. Why is there dead air? Think of a scream and let it Oh God! Sorry about that. <laughs> I'm back. Had to step away there for a second. Listen close, and then call in to guess that scream. <laughs> that was terrible. <laughs> well, folks, there you have it. Call in with your guesses, and if you get it right, you could win. Two tickets to the amazing Maze Maze and one free fried dough. Fried dough? Just call in at 555-239-KFAM with your guest. Now... This is excellent for something. ...while you get dialing. So they introduce the song. Yes, sir. So. I hate it when they play music and you don't know what it is. We didn't used to have Sazam or anything, so it goes. Tell me the song. Ah, oh, Forrest, that was amazing. <laughs> Thanks. I can't wait to hear what people think that was. <laughs> How the hell did I get into this mess? Lighten up, Forrest. That's gonna be the highlight of my backstory, please. What happened to us? Can I use that? God damn it! Is there a ball? Oh, Forrest, there's a call coming in. Okay, Forrest, shut the music off. All right, call coming in. Welcome to 189.16, The Scream. Caller, you're talking to Forrest Nash. What's going on with you tonight? Forrest, thank God I made it through. My name is Leslie Harper. I'm the 911 operator and police dispatcher for Gallows Creek. Well, Leslie... I guess it must be a slow night for crime if you've got time to call in. What can we do for you? Slow night? Forrest, I found a body. Are you calling us? Forrest, I recognize her voice. I'm pretty sure that actually is our 911 operator. I think this is real. Peggy, I'm not going to be happy if this is a prank. I don't do prank segments on my shows. It's in my contract. Forrest, I really don't think this is a prank. Yeah. If you're telling the truth, you should report this to the sheriff. What was his name? Sheriff Andrews or whatever? I'm at the sheriff's office right now. Wait, what? Sheriff Matthews is dead. Oh, that's sheriff nice. Sheriff Matthews is dead? I couldn't get any response from the department. That's never happened before, so I came to the station and... I like the premise of this show. This show, this game. 
God, poor Sheriff Matthews. Do you know what happened to him? Someone got him. Someone got up very close and... I really don't want to... Is there only a sheriff? No deputies? I don't know. I think he tried. He's surrounded by bullet casings. I think he tried to shoot at whoever it was, but... Are we talking on air? <laughs> I don't I don't understand. Where are the other officers? Do they know? Have they secured the scene or, or whatever cops are supposed to do? No, I checked everywhere. Deputy Martinez is here, but she's knocked out, tied up and locked in a holding cell. I called you right after. Okay, I why did you call us? Wait, please don't tell me that this hick town only has two cops. Don't be ridiculous. We have three. But Officer Gunderson is on leave in Cancun. Leslie, do you have any idea who could have done this? Not a clue. I didn't see anything on my way over. Leslie, you need to call over to Henderson or Quiet Ridge. They need to send someone over from their department. I tried, but I can't call anything but local numbers. Something's wrong. I'll have to go there myself. Let them know what's going on and bring help back with me. But if you leave while there's a murderer on the loose, Who's gonna man the emergency line? That's why I called. Oh, great. I've routed all nine one. That makes total sense. And what can I do exactly? <laughs> I'm a radio talk show host, Leslie. I talk to idiot people about their idiot ideas. Like we don't have any deputies to send, so <laughs> why me? You're the only person with experience manning a phone line. How difficult can it be? You're the only person equipped for the job. Besides, there are lots of transferable skills between the two. It's like this it's must be a prank. You ask questions to get information you can use. Keep people talking, you know? Guide the conversation and know when to jump in. You do know that I'm so good at interviews. This is the Chicago to gameplay mechanic, I guess. So I've heard. But that doesn't matter. And besides, there are two of you. You can talk to each other, discuss ideas, work together. Well, let's have some on-the-job training right now. I have an emergency. I need to get an unconscious Deputy Martinez out of that holding cell. It looks like whoever attacked her threw the keys into the cell after they locked the door. Is there any way you can reach the keys? No. There aren't any bars to the cell, and the door itself only has a no. tray slot. And that's too narrow for me to reach through. There's got to be another way in. There's got to be another set of keys somewhere in that office. Those can't be the only one. Of course. Yes, there must be another set. Where might another set be? Maybe Sheriff Matthews had a set of keys on him when he... You know. I couldn't see any at a glance, but... I didn't really look up close. One second. Oh, I think I might be sick. Sorry. Really good voice acting. Again, all this is on air, right? You see that uh, on air there. I... Oh, wait. That might be them. I'm you would think... I <laughs> you, would, you would do some music and discuss all this Deputy. off air. Work? They do! Give me a minute to untie Deputy Martinez. I'll be right back. So far, so good, I suppose. How are you feeling, Forrest? Yeah. I swear to God, Peggy, if this is some sort of joke, I'm leaving this town. I've never heard of anything like like this happening in broadcast. I've never heard about anything like this either. But we're here now, Forrest, and we've just got to see what happens next. Come on, Martinez. There we go. I'm just going to sit you in your office chair. I'll head to my car in a minute. I'm back. Deputy Martinez is still out cold. I'm taking her in the car with me to get help in Henderson. We need the deputy. Back now, Martinez would be a Bring her here. Car. That's a good idea. We don't want to take any risks right now. Thank you, Forrest. That makes no sense. We work together like you did earlier. You can do this. Now I'll be back as soon as I can. Or not. What? My car! My car is on 
fire. What do you mean it's on fire? How the hell? Did it just go up in smoke? What happened? Wait. What? No, no way. This can't. Oh, Forrest, we have big trouble. What's happening? Uh, what's that noise? It sounds like whistling. Whistling? It can't be. Oh my god. I can see him, but he's dead, right? Right? With that mask, how the hell is he? Who, Leslie? Who? The whistling man. The whistling man? <laughs> Who's the whistling man? <laughs> Original. He was a serial killer back in the 50s. Wore that mask. But he's dead. He's... What the hell? Oh, God. Do you think... Do you think he attacked Sheriff Matthews and Deputy Martinez? He's coming this way. Leslie, stay inside and lock the doors. Right. There should be police cruisers at the sheriff's office, right? Like, you should take one of those. I... Yeah. Yeah, that could work. Let me check if Martinez has any... Uh, just reach into your pocket there, deputy, and... Yes, got him. Keys for squad car three. I saw that parked out front when I got here. Nice one, for I'm guessing the game auto saves. But... Wait. How am I supposed to get us... Oh, there is a saver. And it also to saves. Car. The whistling man is right there. Deputy Martinez surely carries a gun, right? Could you use that? Deputy Martinez's gun is missing. I guess the whistling man must have done something with it. The sheriff must have a gun, right? Can, can you see it? There was a gun next to him. Let me grab it. Didn't he have already? Yeah. I... That. Yeah. He must have emptied it trying to defend himself. There must be a weapon lock up in the station, right? Could you grab something from there? Like a shotgun? You have keys of the sheriff. Really? Sheriff keys don't work? Any other weapons lying around that you could use? I didn't see anything earlier. Um, uh, let me check Deputy Martinez's belt. Pepper spray. What was pepper spray, I think? All right. I don't know. It looks like the whistling man left her with a baton, pepper spray, and taser. I can only hold one if I'm carrying Deputy Martinez. Which should I do? Oh, how would I know? The taser, I guess. Got to be the taser, right? Got it. I'm just going to grab Deputy Martinez and then. Wait. Do you hear that? No. No. I, I can't hear anything. Exactly. It's gone quiet. No more knocking. Be careful. I don't like it. Me neither. But it's an opening, and I've got to take it. Okay. Deputy Martinez, if you can hear me, it's time to move. Just lean on me. <gasps> yep. There you go. Are you sure about this, Leslie? No time like the present, right? So, here we go. Again, you're hooked into dispatch now, so I should be able to radio you when I reach the car. If I reach it. <sighs> Speak to you soon. It's very... Um... Good luck. Not this is the part where the killer panicked. Comes out of nowhere, isn't it? Very calm for what is happening. I've got to say, this really wasn't what I expected when I came into Like, work. there is a serial killer, apparently, which was also dead, apparently. And uh, she's got to go out and basically see if she can avoid him. And says, Well, I'll call you if I reach the car. It was very. <laughs> very calm. Well, they always say you have to be ready for everything in live radio. Are you looking at your nails? I Jesus. Leslie back on the line. I'm putting the call through. Hello? Forrest? Peggy? Just... This is Leslie. Are you there? Tell me you are already driving or something. Hello? Leslie? So I, I guess you made it to the car then. We did. 
Deputy Martinez is in the passenger seat, still out cold. I don't see the whistling man anywhere, and I don't plan to wait for him. So I'm going to get us moving. Like, you should have done that first. And then call. Leslie, what's happening? Why the hell would you call without just drive away? Get them with the taser. Superior five power. Oh God, I can't believe we escaped. Well done, Leslie. You saved a life. Just another day for you. Oh my God, yeah. But let me tell you, I prefer doing it from your side. Of the Again, this is her volume is lower than I would expect it to be. Like even when he go, she was um, going, uh, oh, you son of a bitch, let you go, etc. I feel like. It was like uh, emphatic enough, right? Because when you are in panic and in stressful situations, your volume goes up. Take a while, maybe two, three hours each way. Slightly less if I put my foot down. We'll do our best to keep everyone safe until then. Thank you. Just do what you did just now, and Gallows Creek is going to be okay. Anyway, once I'm in. I think Deputy Martinez is starting to stir. Forrest, Peggy, I've got to go. I'll be out of range soon, but I'll radio back as soon as I can once I got the cavalry. Take care. Try not to crash. <laughs> safe out there. Good luck, Leslie. Feel better soon, Deputy Martinez. All right. A shocking turn of events. Deputy Martinez survived. On the streets of. That was an achievement. Uh, survive the whistling man. So I guess uh, depends on your choices. She can die. So it's gonna be one of the games that uh, your choices really matter. Like Telltale game, stuff like that. Gallows Creek tonight. Please make sure to stay safe. And Leslie, we're counting on you. Still want to. We're gonna get back to the show. Oh, that, but I don't. If you have anything on your mind? Or have any know how to this whistling man character then give it a control scheme mm, is there no throw it is R all right Where we? The call. we'll talk here or, on 189.16 uh, no. the scream for now here's another hit record oh, come on all to enjoy same record as before. Nah, we did that before. Not what I signed up for, Peggy. This is actually insane. Hey, there we go. You really say it's gonna take her four hours? This guy's gonna kill half the town in oh, yeah. hours. Forrest, that's not helpful. I know, I know, I just I think about it. <sighs> Who is this okay. man character anyway? He was a serial killer back in the 50s. Edward Marshall Mooney. Went around in a freaky mask, whistling. About a Is that a common um, no reason for it. No motive. Ur urban legend, I think I've heard that before. Okay. What happened to him? Well, police chased him up to Ellis Point one night. We call it Whistling Point now. And it was well, it was on this night actually. The police cornered him and he jumped into the river. His body was never found. So is he alive? Dead? I mean, what's the story? Story is he's biding his time, waiting to take revenge on the town. All right, that's the story. What's the truth? Other than we have a whistling killer on our hands tonight, I don't know. I guess we'll find out what we're dealing with, whether we like it or not. I guess so. <sighs> at least we got the word out, I guess. What kind the of fuck? listening figures do we get at this time? On a Thursday after midnight? Could wow. 35? <laughs> that guy. It's in 3,500. Huh. I didn't realize Gallows Creek was that. That's falling hard. Oh, 35 people. At best. 
Are you serious? We only have 35 listeners? 35, yeah. It's a school night. Uh, and what's the population of Gallows Creek? I don't know exactly. A little over a thousand? Oh. How many did you get before? <laughs> you know. Before my career exploded and I ended up on a midnight hour talk show in the town of a thousand people? Yeah. Before that. Around five for most shows on the low end? Big gas could pump that up to 10, 15, easy. 5,000 on the low end? We could only dream of that. Five million. Wow. Million? <laughs> yeah, sometimes. <laughs> Damn. The way it goes. At least the whistling man hasn't killed me yet. How did you implode so hard? I guess we're gonna learn a lot about perspective tonight, huh? Oh, we have a call. It's about to say 5,000, it's not so much, but uh, yeah. Time to turn the music off. All right, you know what? I think this is a good place to end the first look. We got an idea of how the game plays, but uh, I feel like there might be more because you can crouch, you can uh, do stuff like that. So maybe you also get up and do other things. I think that's a pretty interesting game, actually. I didn't expect it. Uh, again, not a fan of uh, horror usually, but uh, that was fun. I might play some more. If you want to check it out yourself, there is a link in the description below. Again, it comes out today. Doesn't have a price, so I can't tell you, but uh, hopefully it's not too expensive. I like the setting a lot. So, yeah, pretty cool. Thank you for watching. As usually, feel free to leave me a comment. If you want to, subscribe, like, you know, the drill. I'll be back soon with more. Have a good day or night. Bye-bye.